Now for the bottom half of this uh, tan house. So we have our, ooh, I've got it turned over backwards. The background fabric, we have our house fabric, we have our windows fabric, and I have um, ironed some um, fusible interfacing on the back of it. We have our piece that is the window pocket that we have folded in half, wrong sides together, and just put a little crease in there with your hand, and this is the door fabric. So the first thing we're going to do is to embroider our little pocket. I have my 4x4 four four, uh, hooked with my fusible, I mean my light mesh cut cutaway. We are looking for Tan House Part 1, I think that says. Um, we need a 4x4 four four frame. We're going to stitch little cross members on this part so that we'll have our little pocket in our window of this house. First thing it tells you to do is fold the fabric in half widthwise, wrong sides together, and lightly press, and I just finger pressed it. Uh, so we, let's um, go to our machine and put in our um, embroidery file and I'll get that camera switched around so that we can do this. Be right back. Alright, I pulled out my uh, the house blocks um, <laughs> file. Now we're looking for, in our books it tells you um, Tan house block parts. So if you'll look in these, there's blue, there's red, and there's tan. Um, so we are looking for this one that is our window pocket. So we're going to choose that one. We're going to set it. It's in the center. And we're going to click embroidery. Now I have my white thread because that's what we're going to start with. I um, so we are going to first thing we're going to do is uh, stitch our uh, tack down line or placement line actually so let's stitch that down Now it says on this crease line, we want it, we want it, we want the right side up, and we're going to pull this out like this, so um, it will cover that. We want to be sure that this top line is completely covered by this crease, just like that. I think I've got that in there straight. Now we're going to stitch the pocket window tack down line and then we'll change our thread. to this tan color um, on our thread. Let's change this out real quick. Mm -hmm. 
and it's going to do our window mullions on it for us. And then we're going to take this out of the hoop. And well, we'll see in just a second. Be right back when this finishes stitching to show you what we'll do next. Okay. It says to take this out of the hoop. You can see that that extends beyond it. And we're going to trim the stabilizer, not the fabric. Um, it's very clear about not doing the fabric. We're also going to fold this on that fold line and it said that some of this will hang over and that's okay. So we're going to take our do not trim the fabric just take this stabilizer off If I can do that where you can see it. And I would probably take it to an iron and press that down good. Just so it stays where we want it to put stay. So that's what our little house pocket, window pocket is going to look like. We'll add it to the rest of the house when we get to that. So next we're going to do our background quilting and we're going to need if you're doing the background quilting it is um, you're going to need something bigger than the 5 by 7 because your background quilting is 6 by 6 so let me get that set up and we will get ready to do that okay I have pulled up my background quilting and put it on the screen and then I've added the embroidery design for the house on that screen we're looking for the tan block that has the number six on it both of them are in the center of my hoop when I brought them up it says re leave it centered left to right but we want to take this very top of this and put it on that second line on our stitching line so we're just going to move it up until that line is on that. The top of the house is on this inside line, which is our stitching line. Um, so that is how we want it set. Let me turn off my ed edit. Go to embroidery. Then we're going to be ready to do our tack down line for our batting and our background quilting and I'm going to do all of that and then come back and we'll do the top top of the stitching. So. Alright I have the background stitching done now we're going to do our tack down line for our house fabric it's going to sit right there and I'm just going to leave it set up with the um, white thread
I think I'm going to go ahead and do all my placement lines for my windows and my door because it's not going to cross over any of these and I can trim everything at the same time. So let's go ahead and do the windows. I tell them just to um, do the iron on the uh, fusible interfacing on the back and I have done that on my windows I'm going to place this right over here and we're going to let it do the tack down on that don't know if you can hear the popping on the fabric as the needle goes in and out but that tells me that my needle is getting dull and I need to change my needles um, and I'll do it after we do this last tack down so for the door I'm going to go ahead and stitch that tack down and I can go ahead and trim everything out one time my white on because the door will be outlined in white. Okay, now I'm going to go and trim up this one and around my windows and around my door. And I'll be back when I get that done. I didn't skip any steps in doing that. I just kind of saved it all to, at one time because nothing crossed over. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the satin stitch around the house. We're going to do the window pane for the pocket window and the window pane for the other window. And we're doing that all in the tan thread. So um, I'll get that all stitched and we will come back okay our wash away topping is this really thin piece that we put over it is to keep things from getting caught under your needle um, or under the foot and it's also to keep things um, from your from sinking down in you use it on towels now it's not the same as this because this is much thicker and it's shinier. So it, it, this is really, really thin. And we we just tear this away. It says wash away, but it will also just tear away. So I, you can tape it down. I'm just going to hold it until we get around a little bit of it.
it's not detrimental if it doesn't if it gets all tangled up because you're going to tear all of that off I'll be back when we get finished with all of the stitching oh we finished stitching and all we have to do is just tear this away and I've already torn part of it off because it was in my way I didn't use it on this side I'd only used it on this side to keep the little pocket where it needed to be and you just reach in there and tear that off um, so we have our little pocket that we can stick something down in right there so the next thing we're going to do is to finish we're going to satin stitch around the door and do the door details the little embroideries that go down the side and the number and that's the rest of what we do on this block so when we get through stitching those things, we're going to trim it um, along here so that when we sew, <clears throat> excuse me, um, our top and bottom half together, they will come together and be a whole block. You see if on page, it's just, just telling you how to sew them together. and how to trim them up so we'll come back to that so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my embroidery and then I'll come back okay we're done with our cute little house now what we do is take it out of the hook and trim just across the top and then we're going to sew our two pieces together the roof and this and we're going to put them exactly together on this line and sew it together and then we're going to trim the whole thing so let me get it sewn together and then we'll come back and show you how to trim everything up okay I've sewn my two halves together I have tried to center my house it didn't quite center but I think we're good Our, my lines are pretty pretty good here on each side so it needs to measure ten and a half by six and a half so we are right at the six and a half if I cut right on this line and right on this line and we are right at ten and a half if I cut on these two lines um, they show you a way to do it with the pop rulers of so from Kimberbell um, trim as you like to do it so I'm going to trim mine up and we're going to ready, be ready to move on to our next block which is the deck the halls and it's just a straight embroidery block this should not take us very long to do this one so I will set everything up for my for the next segment and be right back okay I've sewn my two halves together I have tried to center my house it didn't quite center but I think we're good Our, my lines are pretty pretty good here on each side so it needs to measure ten and a half by six and a half so we are right at the six and a half if I cut right on this line and right on this line and we are right at ten and a half if I cut on these two lines um, they show you a way to do it with the pop rulers of, from Kimberbell. Um, trim as you like to do it. So I'm going to trim mine up. And we're going to ready, be ready to move on to our next block. Which is the deck the halls. And it's just a straight embroidery block. This should not take us very long to do this one. So I will set everything up for my for the next segment and be right back all right our next thing to do is uh, the deck the halls just embroidery um, we have our background fabric which is the red dots with our um, fusible backing on it and we have our piece of quilt batting and I have hooked my um, hook with the stabilizer uh, if you need to do it in a five by seven seven hoop the instructions are found on your CD that came with this book you will have to split the design and do half on one 
and half on the other. Uh, and the instructions on how to do that are on there. Um, the instructions we're going to do today is for an 8 by 12 hook. Uh, so we, I have pulled up my designs on my uh, machine. I put my the plant design on the background. I've layered my deck the halls on top of it. And we're just going to do our normal stitch down, do our background quilting, and then we're going to just do the deck the halls on it. We're going to use red, pink, green, and blue on this one. And this is really straight embroidery. That's about all we do. Um, and we're going to trim it up um, the way when we get through with all of our stitching. And you can find all this on page 23 and 24. So, um, we'll get to the embroidery. I'm not going to video all of this because it's just straight embroidery and I'm sure you know how to do that. Um, I'll come back when we get through with it. Alright, we're ready to start on our section two. We're going to do our wreaths, um, whole wreath section. Remember that we did the bow for the wreath. Um, and I think four, I think, I believe. So what we're going to do first is do wreath one, wreath two, and wreath three. And these are going to be kind of like um, when we did all the stars and when we did all the um, snowflakes. That's what that was what it was. <clears throat> so we have our background fabric with our. Um, fusible backing on it. We're going to do the way I'm loading mine in. I'll put it that way with my mine. I'm going to load my background quilting because it's the same background quilting for all of them. Even for wreath four. I'm going to load the background quilting. Then I'm going to put wreath one, which is this top curved section. I'm going to go to my files and I'll show you that in just a second and pull up wreath one we'll do all the embroidery like like it says to do and this is just straight embroidery there's nothing um, special to do on this one so I'm going to show you this one and then you'll do wreath two and wreath three the same way and I'll show you how we're going to pull up those wreaths and then we'll come back and We'll do wreath four. Wreath four has the the day on it. That's the reason it's separate. We'll get all of these done, but we won't sew them together just yet until it's time, till till our uh, blocks when we put all our sections together when it tells us to do that. So let me get it all set up, and I will be right back. Okay, I've gone into my files, and I pulled up my. Um, background embroidery and I've layered it on the bottom layer and then I've gone back into my other files and looked on the stitched blocks and these are our four wreaths and they're in order of what how we need to stitch them or we do one of each one of these so we're going to start first with this one we are going to click on it we're going to set it and it needs to be centered, so remember that we pull it up uh, the same. When we pull it up, it comes up and in the center of the frame. Um, it's 4x4. Four four. I'm using a 5x7 because of our uh, background embroidery. So I'm click um, embroidery. Everything looks good. So we're going to do our background quilting. Just like we have been doing. Let me get this. And we'll go ahead and start that. I've got my white thread on there.
put my batting down, sew around it, trim it, and then come back and put down my um, background piece. So I'm going to get all that done, and then I'll come back before we and we will start doing our embroidery on our wreath or that section of the wreath. See when I get this done. Okay, our next thing to do is to stitch our branch. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna follow through. It shows on our on our screen. You know what's next, the color we want. Our branches. I like to line my colors up as I'm using them, so I don't really have to think about it. I know the next color is the next one that goes up. So I'm gonna do all the we're gonna do the branch and all the embroidery that goes with this and we'll actually be finished with that one and um, when I get through embroidering all this I'll come back and show you how to just delete that one thing and put another on top of it and go back through our same motions so let me get this embroidered and I'll be right back okay I just got through embroidering this one and we have a few jump stitches that we have to trim out but not too many um, so I'm going to take this out of the hoop and then I'll trim it up and we stitched the last th thing you stitched was a trim line which is the outside line that we stitched at the beginning so I'm going to take this out and I'm going to show you um, how we go and change to the next one so let me move my camera over here Okay, so we're finished this one. We do return, and I want to delete the last thing I put on there, which is this the wreath part. So I want to delete that, and it says okay. Now I'm not going to delete this, I'm going to leave that on there, and I'm going to add. This is the one that we just did. Now we want to do the one that goes the opposite direction. So I'm going to add this one. I'm going to set. And it's back up where we do, where we are. I'm going to click embroidery. And then we're going to go back. I'm going to rehoop some more stabilizer. I'm going to um, finish doing this. I'll let my camera go there. I'm going to rehoop my stabilizer. I'm going to do my background embroidery again and do this part of the wreath. And then I'm going to do the third one. See, this is the one that goes to the right, to the left, and this one's the, to the right. And then we'll do the next one, is the bottom half of it. And then the fourth one we'll do with the day on it will be the complete the circle so I am just going to continue on doing these you continue doing these I'm not going to film every one of them because they're all exactly the same you just go through delete that one thing and add the sec add the next uh, wreath part onto the background that we're just going to leave up there the whole time so I'll get all of those stitched up and trimmed up we trim them to uh, four and a half by four and a half, and then we'll be ready to move on to the next thing in our lineup. Um, this the second part of the five, which will be the filler blocks. Um, so see when so when I get all this embroidery done. On our filler blocks, we have three um, sections to do. If you look on page 61, it says section 5 filler blocks. We have the two pieces that we, I have sewn together, which is number 1. Then we have the pink cup pieces, which is number 2. And then we have number 3 is the square that we're going to do, 6 by 6 square. So we're going to do these just like we've done them all. We're going to put this in our 
hoop. We're going to set down our tack line, put down our um, batting, do, uh, then put our fabric on it and tack it down, and th then do our embroidery over it. And remember that these pieces may be just a little short of coming all the way to the edge, but as long as they are caught on the inside where we're using for our sew line, then we don't have to worry about what's inside the um, seam allowance. So I'm going to stitch all of these just like we've been doing on all of them and get them done and then I'll show you how we're going to put this section 5 together. So I'll be back when I get that done. Okay, we have all of our pieces finished. They're sawn, they're cut out, ready to go. So this is how we're going to lay them out. We're, uh, even though we did all of the pieces of the wreath, we're, these two will go on section 6. So we're just going to put those aside and keep them in our bag until we get finished with section 6. First thing we're going to do is sew this, this filler piece to our deck the halls. Then we're going to sew our two wreath pieces together and sew them to the to this filler piece. Then we'll sew this big 6x6 six six filler piece to this section. When those are together we'll sew this section together. And the last thing we'll do is sew our house to the end of it all. And that will be our section 5 that's complete and we can go ahead and um, add it to the bottom of section 4 on our um, second half of our quilt. So I will get this um, sewn together and I will show you how it all goes together in our quilt. Okay, here's our quilt so far. We've got one, two, three on the sides and four and five that I've just put up. Let me zoom in a little closer and you can see the one we just finished, the deck the halls. And we, all we have left is number five and six to fill in our space down here and then do the borders. And we will be finished. So I'm going to get those up to you as quickly as I can so that we can have this for December 1st. So see you next on section six.